The Battlefront games may be the most well-known nowadays, but these games still deserve their praise. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated Star Wars games. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at Star Wars games that simply weren't given enough attention, but are still totally worth your time. Stay back. It's two against one. Another junk pile. Number 10, Star Wars Dark Forces. We know what you're thinking, and yeah, this is technically a Doom clone, but don't let that minute detail keep you from playing it. As mercenary Kyle Katarn, you begin the game by recovering the Death Star plans which leads to Kyle helping the Rebellion further by stopping the Empire's next super weapon, the Dark Troopers. While it's not too impressive from a graphical standpoint, it was still an impressive Star Wars first-person shooter for 1995. Sure, it might suffer from a lot of the tropes that a lot of early first-person shooters suffered from, like labyrinthine levels, but hey, those sound effects were so bang on. Number 9, Star Wars Starfighter. Who hasn't dreamed of piloting their own ship in the Star Wars universe? It's like basically what the movies are going on. Well, thanks to Star Wars Starfighter, and well, basically a hundred other Star Wars games, that dream has become a reality, more or less. However, this game isn't for those of you who get motion sickness easily. And that's because you're given almost complete control of flying around the battlefield here. The graphics look great for the time, and the gameplay is addictive. What really drew players in, though, is the number of vehicles Starfighter gives you access to. Hey, you can even pilot that cool ship that Darth Maul uses in Episode 1. Number 8, Star Wars X-Wing Alliance. If you're looking for a bit more flight sim in your space combat, then X-Wing Alliance is probably the game for you. Features like the ability to operate the Millennium Falcon with multiple players, with one acting as pilot and another as the turret, helps to really sell that authentic Star Wars feel. The game also offers a compelling single-player experience as well as an addictive mission builder mode. As the culmination of the X-Wing and TIE Fighter series, X-Wing Alliance just might be one of the best. Number 7, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. This ends now. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way. Revenge of the Sith has terrible voice acting, but in a time where every movie was getting a video game, this was one of the better ones, actually. What Revenge of the Sith excels at is its interactivity. Almost everything in the environment can be used, whether it's to clear a path or damage your enemies. Um, speaking of damaging your enemies, you'll find that some moves allow you to build and experiment with different combos, similar to the mechanics of a regular old hack and slash. Yeah, it's based off a lukewarm Star Wars movie, but this tie-in game actually makes that whole experience better in different ways. Your power is insignificant compared to the dark side. Number 6, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Clone Wars may not be a perfect Star Wars video game, but you'll find there's enough here to make up for its flaws. Yeah, the level design could have been a little more creative, and the single player mode could have had a stronger story. However, Clone Wars is made to deliver explosive, simple fun, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. The excitement comes from taking on waves upon waves of enemies and feeling like a badass. Shoot all you want, you little pathetic droids. In short, Clone Wars was not a complex game, but it was enough to keep fans satisfied. Number 5, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Surprisingly enough, nowadays there aren't too many Star Wars games that let you build your own Jedi experience. Well, none as well as Jedi Academy, anyway. From the outside, it's a pretty standard Star Wars game. However, those who gave Jedi Academy a shot were treated to a diverse combat customization feature. Not only can you customize the hilt of your lightsaber and the color, but you can also choose a unique playstyle. Do you want to dual wield lightsabers? How about a staff like Darth Maul? Well, either way, Jedi Academy was definitely worth your time. Besides, some people are still trying to play the multiplayer mode. Number 4, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. My, my, my 
Look, we know that The Phantom Menace is probably the worst movie in the franchise, but if any good came out of it, it was Jar Jar Binks. Boo this man! No! Just kidding, pitchforks down. In all seriousness, Phantom Menace spawned a few good video games, and one of them was Racer. Translating what is maybe the second best part of the movie, the game succeeded with intense speeds and magnificent sound design. Part of the challenge here came from figuring out when you should use your boost while keeping track of your engine status. Really, this racer did require your undivided attention and definitely satisfied many a fan, despite what the reviews said. Number 3. Star Wars Bounty Hunter Not everyone wants to be a Jedi. For those of you who want Star Wars with a little less lightsaber, you might want to take a look at Star Wars Bounty Hunter. This third-person shooter takes a deeper dive into Jango Fett's life, including the birth of his son Boba and his role in the creation of the Clone Trooper Army. Even if you aren't that interested in the narrative, you might appreciate the addictive gameplay. Each level has you hunting down bounties, which um, may or may not cause you to start scanning every NPC. Add in the expansive arsenal of weapons you'll get to use, and those who gave this game a shot probably had some fun with it. Number 2. Star Wars Episode 1 Battle for Naboo Okay, so remember when we said The Phantom Menace actually helped create a few good games? After the addictive Episode 1 racer, Battle for Naboo also released on the N64 and Windows PC. With an assortment of different air, land, and water vehicles, you can blast away battle droids with an unforgiving smile on your face. The gameplay is very, very arcadey, which makes it easy to jump in and out of. There's also plenty of unlockables, ranging from design sketches to developer commentary. So if you come in looking for simple fun, you should get it. Number 1. Star Wars Republic Commando Nice tight, sir. Now this is how you create an incredible Star Wars experience. Republic Commando is a first-person shooter where you're the leader of a squad of clones. Just about everything in the game is astounding though, from the gorgeous graphics to the wonderful audio design. Not only that, but it had some very deep tactical mechanics to help it stand out from other shooters. The narrative, albeit a little short, is still compelling too, and the action kept players engaged. It's a real shame that this game never really took off and the sequel was canned, as we might never get to see something this unique ever again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.